Hi everybody. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, finding a linear equation just by given two points, by being given two points. So we'll start out with the two points. Two points are going to be 2 comma 1 and uh, 5 comma negative 3. Uh, so let's just I'm going to put those on a graph. It's not necessary to put those on a graph, but it might be interesting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. The first point is two comma one. That's right here. Two comma one. And the second point, three, four, five, is right here. Five, negative three. So we're looking for the line that looks kind of like this. Kind of keeps going uh, so forth. Not a very good picture, but good enough. The first thing is find the slope. So that's going to be represented with an M. And we're going to do 1Y minus another Y over 1X minus another X. And it doesn't matter which one you start with, but it does matter that you stick with the same start and end. So like if I pick out 1 to go first, 1 minus a negative 3, then I have to start out with 2 minus 5. So this is going to be 1 minus a minus is a plus. So that makes me a 4 over 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So my slope here is minus 4 thirds. And uh, for a linear equation, we have y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So I'm going to plug in minus 4 thirds, and then I'll pick one of these two points. It doesn't matter which one. Put in the x, put in the y, solve for b. So here we go. y equals minus 4 thirds x plus b. Put in x is 2, put in y is 1. I'm picking this one because the numbers are smaller and they're positive. I like positive, I like small. You know, that's my, that's my preference. So I put in my slope, I put in my x, I put in my y. We're going to do some algebra and solve for b. This is uh, 2 times 4 thirds, or minus 4 thirds is minus 8 thirds. And uh, I need to add 8 thirds to both sides here to get rid of the 8 thirds and uh, get b by itself. And I'm going to say now b is, looks like b is 1 plus 8 thirds. That doesn't look nice. Um, but you can remember that 1 is the same as 3 thirds. So if you make that as 3 thirds and that's 8 thirds, then B is now 11 thirds. And we can now finish my equation. Uh, y is, we had minus 4 thirds X and now plus 11 thirds. That is my linear equation that represents uh, this line that I kind of tried to draw. Last thing I want to do is check it. I want to check it by graphing it in my calculator. Um, I want to turn it on, clear out what I had, go to y equals right here, and we're just going to clear out whatever is in there. Type in this. So I'll do parentheses, the negative down here, negative 4 thirds, and then x, and then plus, I'm going to do plus 11 thirds. We'll go to zoom 6, which is the standard window. I just want to see that this looks like what I drew, and it, and it seems like it does. If you really want to check, you could push trace, type in 2 right here, and see if it gives me y is 1. 2, yeah, sure enough, 2 is x and y is 1. And type in 5 for x, y is negative 3. I can see I definitely have the correct line. I definitely have the, the right uh, linear equation. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, if you have two points, first you find the slope. You plug in the slope for m. Then you pick either of these, you put in an x and a y. You could have put in 5 is x and negative 3 is y. And then you solve for b. I had to do some fractions, no big deal. And then I put it all together and finally I checked it. Uh, I hope this helps you out. Uh, if, if you need help with other topics, I've got other videos up. Check those out. And if you don't find what you want, then message me and I'll try and get you a video to, uh, to get you where you need to be. Bye-bye.